I'm Izzertastic and today we're going to draw a very cool light bulb. So grab your favorite bark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> let's start drawing our light bulb now light bulbs are rather fun we're gonna draw a nice sweeping curve up curve it on the bottom next we're gonna add three two curved sections for where it actually no sorry three curved sections for where it screws in there and then we're gonna draw a little part on the bottom. Okay, so cur two curved lines down and one line across. And you can go ahead and color that bottom piece in. Next, we're going to draw the sunglasses. So we're going to draw two curved lines on either end, curve it in, draw a U-shape, connect it between in each of those, draw three slanty ovals, long skinny ones, and then we're going to go ahead and color in the rest of the Sunglasses, being very careful not to color in those ovals. Perfect. Next, we're gonna underneath, underneath each of those sunglass shades, we'll draw a long skinny oval for the cheeks. And then you can give it some cute little lips. Next, we're gonna draw the filament inside. So we're gonna go sweep up, do a couple curving lines up and back down. And then we're gonna draw the shiny parts on the glass because of course it's a light bulb. We're gonna add some long skinny lines or ovals around this guy. Perfect. And before we uh, color it, you're gonna go around your light bulb one more time with um, your mark making medium just to thicken up those lines. Black felts work wonders for this. This will tidy it all up. Perfect. And once you're done thickening up those lines, you are ready to color. So you can grab your yellow and then you are ready to go and you can use whatever you want to color with. So I'm gonna color everything but those shiny spots so they stay nice and white, bright, and it'll make it look shiny. Okay. 
You can also use your yellow to color in those ovals that are making it look like it's glowing. Then you can grab a pink and you can color in those cheeks. And then you can grab a gray and we're gonna color in the band. Of metal. Perfect. You can also use your gray to add just a little bit of shading on your light bulb if you want. You can go around the glasses and around the mouth and under those cheeks. You can also take it and just trace over those filament lines. That way it stands out. And finally, I'm just going to use a black for, mm, I'm not gonna use a marker, that's too dark. I'm just gonna use my black wax crayon here to add shading on the gray because of course I can't shade the gray with gray. So we'll just use a black wax crayon to shade that and shade up some other details. And just like that, your lovely, lovely light bulb is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.